Kupa Natalia is here. I finally decided to start talking in my videos and you know why? Because I have too much information for you to put into the subtitles. I will make the whole set of very detailed videos when I will show you absolutely everything you need to know to customize your first doll. Want to become a doll artist but don't know where to start? Keep watching and I will show you all my secrets. The main question is of course what to use to paint such a doll face. I saw a lot of custom dolls on internet before but I just never dared to even start working on them because I was sure that it was made with acrylic paint and I didn't feel really capable to paint such a thin ideal lines with acrylics and I just kept working on my fabric dolls. The moment when I figured out that you can use pencils to draw on doll faces has really changed my life because with a very sharp pencil you can indeed draw something very thin. But it's very important to choose the right pencils. You must have watercolor pencils and I would strictly recommend you to use professional artist quality ones. I've already made a video where I was comparing watercolor pencils from different price and quality categories and the professional quality pencils have won the battle with these. Here on top you can find the link to the pencil battle video. There are a couple of brands that you can use. Faber-Castell, Prismacolor, Tervent. I use Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer pencils. Here you can see I have such a set of 60 colors and these are really good pencils. But of course they are quite expensive. I paid something like 100 euro for this box. But of course you don't really need all these colors. You can perfectly start working with 12 or 15 pencils that you can choose yourself and buy per piece in professional art stores or on the internet. Which colors to choose? Of course black and white, then different grey colors, for example dark grey and light grey, or cold and warm colors. The same with nude and brown pencils, take a couple of them of different color intensity. and red tints to color doll lips. And then some blue, green, maybe purple colors for eyes. So how many we have chosen, let's count, here is 7, there is 8, 15 pencils and it will be enough for any good repaint. And let me repeat one more time because it's really important. You can use only watercolor pencils, simple pencils or oil bases will react with vinyl doll heads in a quite an unpleasant way. Another very important thing you will need is soft pastels. I use them for blush and doll faces to create realistic shadows and highlights. You can use any professional quality soft pastels. It cannot be oily pastels based on some wax or something, it must be such a box of dry pigmented chalks. I have here Rembrandt soft pastels. This is a portrait set of 30 colors that have already been selected to draw a face. You can see, here is a good selection of nude colors. Of course black and white. A 
good choice of brown and gray colors for creating shadows. A whole bunch of red and pink colors. different blue and green pastels for eyes. And here is another box of pastels that I have. This is Faber Castell Studio Quality Pastels. They are of course a little bit less pigmented and more dry than the professional ones, but there are 72 colors in this box, so I often use them as an extra. You see, I have a mini version of this product. To work with soft pastels. I use a piece of sandpaper to get some pigment from a chalk and then I apply it on a doll face with a brush. And then you will of course need brushes. These thick and fluffy ones I use mainly for blushing. And for small details I use such brushes for nail design. They are so short and thin they work really good on dolls. But of course you cannot just draw on a vinyl doll head. First we need to prepare a surface. And for this almost all doll artists use Mr. Super Clear Sealer. This product gives a very smooth coat with a light tooth that let pigments from your pencils and pastels stay on the doll face. It also protects your work from any damage and works as a safe button for your repaint. I apply three coats of this sealant before I start my repaint and then I use it very regularly between different steps of my work. In the end, I protect my dolls with two extra coats of the sealant. And you cannot use just some regular sealant from a local store, because after a couple of months the face will become sticky and dirty. You will also need some tiny erasers to remove the mistakes. To make them I just cut pieces of a big eraser with a breaking knife. It's also very important to use cotton or vinyl gloves to protect a doll face from natural fat from your hands, even if you think that there is no fat on your hands. I use such a simple transparent nail polish to give doll eyes and lips realistic and glossy look. And of course, eyelashes. I work with such a human false lashes, they look really good on dolls. And I work as well with such a special doll lashes, I like them both. And I use such a transparent glue to apply them on. I also use sometimes acrylic paint for certain details, but mainly I need just a white color to add some extra highlights to doll eyes. So, this is what I wanted to show you today. Subscribe and don't forget to watch a new doll video this Friday. See you!